אוקיי. בעזרת השם, דפתוף, י"ז. בגמרא, בגמרא yesterday, was going through all the, uh, the stira that we have between Masechet, Masechet Tamid and Masechet Midot, with regard to the order of which way the Lishachot are set up, whether the Lishchat HaTelaim is in the, uh, whether it's in the, 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 uh, the northwest or the southwest. According to Masechet, according to Masechet uh, Tamid, it seems like it was in the northwest. And according to Masechet Midot, it seems like it was in the southwest. We're saying Midot was the Rulez of Yaakov because of the way that it says that you have to look into the... Uh, into the, the Sha'ar, they had to make it lower in order that you could see. And according to everybody else, there was a little <coughs> smidgen of a window that you could look through the top of the gate. And according to the Belez bin Yaakov, that he has an extra two and a half amot, or an extra amah and a half, there's not enough room to look through. So therefore, Midot goes like the Belez bin Yaakov, and Tamid is somebody else. Then the Gemara, Rav Ada Bar Ava tried to say that Masech uh, Midot, which requires Masech Midot, which requires the wall to be lower, doesn't have to be the Belezer. Doesn't have to be uh, Rabbi Lezer Ben Yaakov, but it could be Rabbi Yehuda, because Rabbi Yehuda holds that the Mizbeach was front and center, right in the middle right in the smack in front of the Hechal, and therefore you couldn't see through the Mizbeach, and you had, to, you had to lower the wall. So the Gemara says, no, can't be. Midot can't be. Midot can't go like Rabbi Yehuda, because the Mishnan Midot says clearly that the Mizbeach was not was not fully over. The way we calculated it with the half and the splitting and the kind of everything, it comes out that there was around two amot visible. Rashi says there was around two amot visible. It can't be the Blaz Vinyako. Ella, so top of the page starts. Ella Lav, Shmam, it can't, sorry, it can't be the Biuda. Ella Lav, Shmamina, the only guy that has the whole, the whole Hechal blocked off with something, with the Blaz Vinyakovi. Rashi el alav shma mina Reb Lez ben Yaakovi ve'echsi le b'maala yetera. It gets blocked with the extra maala ve'lo b'mizbeach and not with the mizbeach like we tried to say is Reb Yehuda. The shamina le Reb Lez ben Yaakov be'perek shelishi. Now Rashi's Rashi's saying more, meaning according to Reb Lez ben Yaakov, why do you have to say that it's blocked with the step? Maybe he holds like. One of the Tanaim that holds that the Mizbeach, that the Mizbeach is blocking. So now the Shamina le Lebel has been Yaakov and Perik Shidishi Damar Kula Mizbeach bedarom kai. He says that the Mizbeach is all the way south. The Kol Hatzi Halala Petach Megule, and he holds that half of the opening of the Hechal was open. The Gemara says. V'ikash Yelachas is Rashi. I have another problem. You told me that what? You told me that the Tana of Masech and Midot is who is the Belez Ben Yaakov. But it can't be. I just told you that on Daf Lamed Zayin, the Gemara says the Belez Ben Yaakov holds Kulam is Be'ach Bidarom. That the home is Be'ach is pulled to the south. And that the, the, northern, the northern edge of the Mizbeach is only... Is only kahati halal peta. If that's the case, so you say it. No, Why? it's safe. But the Mishnah Midot doesn't say that. The Mishnah Midot has the Mizbeach ending right before the end of the doorway. 
It's a couple. It's a couple of amot off. It's around uh, nine, nine amot or ten amot off. It's a lot. So you're right. It, this way, that way, the door is open in that. But you, you're claiming that the Tana of Midot, the Zubaz of Yaakov, his Mizbeach placement is not working. If he, if, whatever you want. If the measurements mentioned in Masech Midot don't jive yeah, right, yeah. with the Blaz of Yaakov, he the then he can't be the other. So. You can make all types of Tirutim. You can stand on your head, but it's, it's, not, it's not the same. From the stam that we just finished, we learned that Mizbeach takes up seven amot north of the midpoint in the doorway. Al Korchach, Hachi Mefarshina, Hani Esrim Vehamish Vehamish Amot. <laughs> he says, you have to say the 25 amot that we mentioned before. Mm-hmm. He says, only put between the wall and the kevish. We were putting 10 and a half. We were putting, uh, right? We were putting 10 and a half. Says, no, only put five and a half there. The kevish and the mizbeach is 62, plus the five and a half gives you 67 and a half, which is half of 135. And the rest of it is all going in the nanasim. And we have either big nanasim or a lot of nanasim or a lot of space in between. So now Rashi just backtracked. Right? Rashi told me, told you that when his Rebbe said to split it 12 and 13, he told you, he made a whole ruckus, Rashi, yesterday. He says, ah, if you're splitting it 12 and 13, the Mishnah didn't tell you, I don't know why. Hell, I'd rather go my way. You're not doing that anymore, you're splitting it. <laughs> Five and a half and, and 19 and a half. What kind of split is that? What does that mean? Im Ken. As in, Rashi is doing this, or this was done? He's trying to figure it out? Rashi is not. Rashi is trying to make this sugya make sense. So you can just play with the numbers, make this, that, make that, that. Make Rashi that, that, that. says, I'm forced to play with the numbers. Okay. If it's not, the Rashi Gemara doesn't work. It's Rashi working it? Rashi's or? working it out to himself. Okay. Now Rashi asks himself another question. If I just told you five and a half, Vim Tomar, Im Ken, Shelo Dekde Katana La Halekula Hatsain, so when he says halika, split it, he didn't mean split it evenly. He means he meant split it how you like. Free market. Any any day you come, you know, you come home, your wife rearrange your furniture. You come into the bed and they move the mizbeach. This weapon halika and split it. Do whatever you want, right? So put the Mishnah like Rabbi Yuda. Say the Mishnah in the middle of Azara. Kaysat. Ten esrim ve'ehad u'merza mehem ben kevish la kotel. Put twenty one and a half between the kevish and the kotel. Ve'a kevish shloshim v'chetzi v'mizbeach v'chetzi mizbeach shisha asar. The kevish itself is thirty two. Half of the Mizbeach is 16. Nimza, Imza Osho, Mizbeach, Lesof, Samach Zain, Umech, Tashem, Imza Azara. I put it in the middle. Hey, I have 21 in the 25, 21 and a half. I got the whole thing. Ha lo matzit amarti. You can't say that. Shelo ye mekoma shulchanot vananasim ela shalosh umech. He says there's not enough room for the shulchanot and the nanasim in three and a half amot. That's. That's Rashi explaining the sugya the way he explained it till now, based on the way he understood what the, when the Gemara says that Avada Barava was saying Reb Yudahi, meaning that Avada Barava is saying that the Mishnah in Masech Midot goes like Reb Yudahi. Now Rashi is going to suggest a totally new Mahalach. He says, I'd like to say Hadar Avada Barava v'chol asugya b'lashon aher. Rav Ada Barava Amar, how many amatnitin de tamid? Not the Mishnah of Midot, 
that says that uh, that you can't see the Mishnah of Tamid. Amar lehem emimune, the ram yamidot ale matnit in the Tamid. The pligi amistama the midot Rabbi Yudahi. So the Mishnah of Tamid that says that the that the that the, that the lishcha was in the in the in the north. It argues on the Mishnah and Tamid that says that Lishchat Tatelaim was in the southwest. Right? Says you know the Mishnah of Tamid that says it's in the northwest. Rabbi Yehuda, how do I know? He argues on the Mishnah and Tamid because according to the Mishnah and Tamid, the Mizbeach is over. Right? It's only blocking two amot. It's all. It's, it leaves two amot open. Whereas according to according to Rabbi Yehuda, it's blocking the whole thing. Plus, right? You can't think Midot is Rebuda. What? No, middle. The middle of the Mizbeach is the middle of the Azara. Pintlech. Right? The way the Mesech Midot has it, most of the Mesech is on the south. So you see that they argue. So therefore, I'll say, the Mitetan of Mesech Midot is somebody. to be me ear, be you dad, be lesbian Yaakov, say who you like. Better, better not even say the lesbian Yaakov, because the lesbian Yaakov holds that the Mesech is Bidarom, and the Tana doesn't hold Mesech Bidarom. He, he seems to be putting it a lot closer. Much simpler. I don't have to. I don't have to fudge with the numbers anymore. This is a wild piece, guys. <laughs> you learn it this way, you learn it that way, and then you can change it also, yeah. <laughs> Why would you change like the location of this? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all mentioned. Now, 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 now we're going to have another big decade. It's like the same with the furniture. You put it this way, then you want it to do it like this, then you keep turning around. Right. <laughs> okay. Ravada Bariyaf. Ravada Bered Rav Yitzchak Amar. No, I don't think... I don't think that the, that the, that the two Mishnayot are arguing. Because I want to say that Tamid... And Midot agree. Who's saying this? You? Me? I'm saying you're Rashi. Ravada Bereder of Yitzchak. Amar, hai lishcha, this lishcha, that the Masechet Tamid said is on the, on the northwest, and Masechet Midot said it's on the southwest. Says, no, southwest. West. Close to the Kodesh Kodeshim. Those... Those Mishnayo are not arguing. Not that. Elu ve'elu devreilu mchayim. But it's either here, it's either in this corner, or it's in that corner. No, they're not arguing. Why? Hai lishcha akzuye makziya. Ud'ati mitzafon mitchaz yale bedarom. Ta'ati bedarom mitchaz yale bedzafon. Now see how Rashi explains it. Rav Ada Barava Amar Halishkat Tali Maktsuya Maktsiya Pishteha Mekzoot Nerit. It looks like it's in both corners. Sha'arukahi, it was long. The Omedet Bimaarab. It was on the west wall, west side of the Lishka. Umaarech Litzada Tzafon Vedarom. Ad Karov le Mekzoot Shimikanu Mikan. Because it was long along the back wall near both corners. Now, I'm not sure exactly what you do. It's, when you read the Braita, it sounds like all the offices were in corners. So, what are you doing with this office? It's not in the corner, it's smack in the middle and it goes towards both corners. So, it looks like it's in both corners. Then, where's the office that was supposed to be in the other corner? Are all the offices on the walls? Maybe it has like a peg that goes into the corner. 
A peg? Just like a right? no, I'm saying, what, what about the next corner? The, the other guy that was supposed to be in the corner. He's <laughs> just on the wall. Everything is on walls? Nothing's in the corners now? I mean, he has a picture like this. That it's, it's somewhat in the middle. It looks like it's here, and if you come this way, it looks like it's there. If you come this way, it looks like it's there. Why do you have to be exactly square? Assuming they're all square. What would you like to make them? Make it Octagon, hexagon, make something six, fun? Six sided square. Uh, what's it going to do for you? Wait, the, room, the room was square. That's what we think. Let's read the Rashi. Let's try and figure out from Rashi. Right? Aktsuye Maktia. Udaati mitzafon mitchaz yale bedam. That's called thinking out of the box. You broke the box. Mitchaz yale bedarom. Udaati midarom mitchaz yale bedzafon. If you come from the from the north, it looks like it's in the south. Because it's not by you. Udaati midarom. When you come from the south, mitchaz yale bedzafon. So that's why... The Tana in Midot is going around. He's counting the offices around the other way. So Ki'ilu, when he's coming, it looks to him like it's in the north. The Tana in, 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 in Tamid is counting around the other way. So when he comes to it, it looks like it's on the other side. So they're not they're describing it based on the perspective that they'll have if you were walking around and looking at the different, at the different offices. Rashi. Uda'ati le mitzafon if you're coming from the north, it looks like it's a little bit more towards the south. Udaati midaron, when you come from the south, it looks mishuchal like it's like it's pulling towards the north. Is that an optical illusion? Something like that. Says the Gemara. Umistabra, and it makes sense that Be'etzim to be Ma'aravi Diromi Tavai. It was really more towards the south. Rashi. Mistabra to be Ma'aravi Diromi Tavitve. It was more towards the south. Umodi Be Ba Tana de Tamid. And the Tanav Tamid admits to that. He admits, even though the Tanav Tamid said it's in the north, he admits it's really in the south. Ela de Nakat Sidra. He said that it's in the south, in the north. Midarom Litzafon. He was counting from the south to the north. So the way he's walking, it looks like it's in the north. How do I know that? Says the Gemara Mimai. We had a stira. Where is the lishchat lechem apanim? Rashi. Tehu. Tehave salke daite. We thought. Shehu mone veholech derech yamin. Mitzafon le ma'arav. Umi ma'arav le darom. We thought he's counting to the right. Now, if you stand outside of the lishchat atilaim, outside of the bet hamoked, and you face it, and you start counting around to the right. So the so the system that you go, you go from the north to the west to the south 